My name is Bill Wagner. I'm the Chief Production Officer for Media Entertainment. All right, Bill, can you talk about the different ways on how you're working with NVIDIA on your game? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, so we've been working with NVIDIA for a little over a year, and really they first approached us about integrating some of their um, NVIDIA uh, Apex uh, particle system technology into Hawken, which we've done. Um, and we're going to start showing that a little bit later on uh, this year. But we've seen some tests of it already, and it looks great. Uh, then we also worked with NVIDIA uh, earlier in the year when uh, we had Hawken running on Gaikai, on Gaikai service. So uh, NVIDIA was actually the, one of the technologies powering Gaikai, and so we were showing streaming versions of Hawken around E3 timeframe. And now we're working with NVIDIA uh, uh, on Project Shield. And so what have they provided in terms of the tech that has helped with the development? Uh, so they've, you know, uh, a lot of help uh, through driver support and actually, you know, working on code with us uh, to get some of the particle system uh, technology working in our game. And they also provided a ton of optimization support for running our game on uh, Project Seal. And what, uh, how does your game make use of the latest Tegra technology? Sorry. I couldn't hear you. How does, how does your game make use of the latest Tegra technology? Uh, so, well, the, the game actually wouldn't be able to run on a mobile handheld device if it wasn't for Tegra 4. So really, that's, what, that's the main way that we're actually taking, uh, you know, making use of the Tegra technology is that that's what's enabling uh, the game and Unreal 3 to run uh, on Project Shield. And how does this impact the gameplay experience across the platforms you're targeting? Well, so the interesting thing about Hawken was that way back when Adhesive was first thinking about the game, they were thinking about it as an Xbox title. So the game has always been able to run uh, on, a, on a console controller. It's always been made to do that. So right now it's, it's a free-to-play PC game, and it's played with a mouse and keyboard. But the truth is anybody could actually plug a, uh, you know, like an Xbox 360 controller into their PC and be able to play the game just fine. And so. There isn't a lot of uh, differences in terms of gameplay between Project Shield and the PC version because it was already set up to run with a hand, uh, you know, with a, with a console controller, which of course that's what Project Shield is. Um, you know, other things. You know, obviously we optimized the game quite a bit. Um, we had to port the game from you know uh, Windows to Android so that it run on Project Shield, uh, and those are really the main things. What are your thoughts on what can be done with tablet gaming today? Well, so, I, I, obviously tablet gaming is super interesting right now. Um, it's a great business for a lot of different companies. I think for a game like Hawken, um, we really wanted to play, we really wanted it to, uh, you know, be an experience that would uh, be, you know, just as fun, if not better, uh, for our, our customers. And, you know, for a standard tablet, like touch screen for Hawken, for a game like Hawken doesn't really work. So. Uh, Project Shield made a ton of sense for us because it's really based around that, you know, console control style of device, and uh, you know, it, it made it so that we didn't have to do something to the gameplay to make it different so that it worked with touch, and uh, so that's really like I think Project Shield has really benefited uh, for it's been a huge benefit to work on it for us. And what are your thoughts on Tegra 4 technology and how it compares to the Tegra 3? You know, for us, Tegra 4 made you know, getting Hawken to run on Project Shield possible. And so, you know, we're super excited about this, you know, about the new uh, release of Tegra 4. And how do you see Tegra 3 and Tegra 4 impacting the streaming of games like Hawken to multiple devices? Tegra 3 and Tegra 4 actually let the game be played on a device. You know, uh, it's not so much about streaming. Streaming is really about the NVIDIA grid technology, which is also super cool. Um, and we're involved with that as well. I forgot to mention that earlier, but so we are working with NVIDIA on, NVIDIA on the NVIDIA grid technology as well, which will enable the streaming of Hawken to all the devices that you would have a NVIDIA grid client on. And how does your server technology incorporate NVIDIA technology? Uh, so right now our server technology doesn't incorporate uh, any NVIDIA technology, but with grid, um, there's a lot of interesting things that are possible in the future, and can't really say anything about that yet, but um, you know, I think the NVIDIA Grid technology is super exciting, and it's definitely something that we're going to be involved with um, in terms of streaming Hawken out to, you know, uh, all the people who would actually uh, be using it. What excites you about where tablet technology is heading? Um, you know, I think that it's getting 
that tablets are getting more powerful. You know, they're getting uh, uh, higher end graphics, things like Tegra 4, and it enables, you know, uh, more uh, intense gaming experiences, you know, better graphics uh, in gaming, you know, better graphical gaming experiences, and it allows something like Hawken to actually be run from a tablet-like device or, uh, you know, the Project Shield device. And how has that uh, part of the business been progressing? Um, it seems like it's progressing really, really fast. Um, you know, for us, this is our first entry into it, so we'll see how it goes, but we're Super excited to be on Project Shield, and that's going to be our first entry into, uh, you know, handheld gaming. So we'll see how it goes. We think it's going to be great.